Hello, I'm DBG, and I'm actually here to welcome you to a world of unimaginable tasting. A world stricken out of our reality. Is it through dimensions? Is it through cosmos? Who knows? But in this world, you're confused about what's actually going on. And I am here to show you. <laughs> I'm actually here to reach to you. Reach! God, whoa, whoa! Come on, man! Don't do this with me! The freaking screen screen here! What? Three people come to my episode. What do you want? Drink a drink! Well, buddy, I actually have something to tell you. A little bit late from Halloween. Dude, I am like 20 years old here, man, in college. Then give me some goddamn candy! Whoa, 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 young man. Is there any way to talk to an adult? It's either you give me some goddamn candy, or I'm gonna put a trick in your ass! Well, since you said it so polite, I think I'll find something in my place for you. Jesus frick Christ, these kids are gonna find something! Give me the thing off. Oh, okay, we got it, we got it. Rolling pan, no, 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 no. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. This is, this is, um, no, I ain't going to it. Get out of here for the last time! Ha! Ah, I know what to get him. Here you go, you little brat. Two turkey sausages. No, please go away. What the hell am I going to supposed to do with sausage? I'm not dressed as a freaking fridge here, man! Bye! <sighs> okay, now what do you want? What the hell you got down, woman? This is DPG here, and I don't know how I got here. Uh, Did you forget his line? Well, and uh, today's meal is. And today's meal is. And today's meal is. Today's meal is something delicious, something that's easy, something even a college student, someone doesn't know how to cook. You technically only need five things, ladies and gentlemen. You only need one head of lettuce. Well, uh, sorry, cabbage. Three pounds of potatoes. Russell potatoes, uh, or russet. Anyways, anyways. Uh, don't get sweet potatoes. Don't get red potatoes. You need that specific kind of potato just for uh, how long it does take for them to cook. And just the texture and everything goes a lot bit better for this kind of meal. And that's the original idea for this meal. You need a slow cooker. Delicious. Turkey, get bust out, baby! Why turkey? Because it tastes just as good as the original stuff. A little bit less than fat, but oh, so delicious. And you can eat that all day. Oh, yeah. And if you enjoy a little bit of this delicious, succulent, and a little bit of a kick out of taste, garlic, uh, you don't need really too much, just a little bit of pinch, but hey. I'm not gonna be there to smell your stanky ass breath. You're gonna be kissing that sweet little girlfriend's mouth of yours, and I ain't gonna do it. It's getting hot in here, so take off all of your clothes. So, actually, first off, one of the biggest things we're gonna do first is actually we're gonna cook the kielbasa by itself. Uh, I don't know why he did that, because there's an easy opener here. But you know what? We don't follow the instructions here. We do what's in our heart, man. What is in that Italian blood of yours? What the fuck is that? Well, it's actually calling for something that's not an Italian meal. This is more of a po Polish or Irish. No, that was more Scottish. I'm sorry, I can't get the you know the whole Jack Sepulchre guy out of me. Hold on, let me try it. Let me try it right now. Kabish! Oh, 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 dear laddie, we're gonna oh. <laughs> no! It's lots of sausage! Ah! Oh god! Okay, oh, we got quick. Rip this off. It's no good. It's really easy. Uh, usually, people, of course, will not use turkey sausage. They were gonna use something, you know, like actual fucking sausage kielbasa. But you know what? We're in a day and age where we're actually able to make something just as good for a little bit less fat. Yes, people are gonna say, but fat is good for you. It's good for you, you know. Yes, I understand that. But it doesn't mean you're gonna eat 2,000 grams a day or some shit like that. So why wouldn't you get it? If you're like a broke college student, why wouldn't you get something like this? This is great for someone in college. It's a cheap meal. It's as healthy as you could probably goddamn get at, for a multiple meals. This, this meal is gonna cost you roughly $10. Uh, Six dollars just from the meat alone, about a dollar or two from the cabbage, and that right there is eight. 
Then, you know, potatoes, if you probably get like a big ass sack and you eat potatoes a lot, boom, that's $10. You got multiple units. You probably got four meals here, four or five meals. So once you get this all cut up and done, make sure you grab your pan. So the next thing we're gonna be doing while the kibasa is cooking on itself is make sure you wash potatoes. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. It's pretty damn simple. Get some hot water, rinse it yourself with your hand. You know, you gotta clean them like a man who cleans his balls. Nice and clean, straight to the point. Don't use soap. Oh, wait a second, you're supposed to use soap. Ha! <laughs> now, you gotta cut them thin because, let's say, What's going to come faster, this whole potato or a whole potato that's diced up? It's going to be diced up because energy is going to be able to get into the potatoes faster and cook them, well, than an actual goddamn potato. Now, why garlic? Now, gar now, this me now, this meal does not call for garlic. But why am I putting garlic in there? Garlic is good for the heart. Like, you know, like Grandpa Jackie Chan man said. You know, garlic is good for you. Man, he says that all the freaking time in the show. Remember that show? The show with Jackie Chan is basically a cartoon and he fights everyone. Actually, that was a pretty sweet show, oddly enough. <sighs> but, we're almost done here. That's a lot of potatoes. Now here's the thing about cabbage that makes it really easy. You don't need to do a lot to it. Just make sure you get a couple things out. You need to cut it a couple times like that. That's really it. Make sure you get the, you know, make sure you get that nub out right here. You don't need that nib. And boom, you just literally put that into the crock pot. That's all you need to do. Now the kibasa is still cooking, but we're gonna get everything prepped because we're gonna put the kibasa in that last because we want that to be the top because that's where the juice is. And this is just thought it's going pretty well. Though. <laughs> I'm on my way to hell. Oh. Doing. Good. I got some questions for you though. One, how did you get this number? And two, why the hell are you calling me? I'm still a little sour with the whole cookbook scenario we had about a month ago. Actually, funny thing is, I actually found that number in your cookbook and apparently part of your journal. Yeah, now that you uh, mentioned that, I do have a couple questions and some advice. Dude, you gotta just give it in to Lus's fetishes. Violence! That's a little bit personal. Now why the hell are you calling me? Okay, well, the main reason why I was calling is because have you been fooling with my mind lately? Well, I got nothing on my schedule for you this week. But, now that you mentioned it, I'm gonna put you down for next week by tormenting your soul. Thanks for reminding me. About that, a little busy. Like Good to know. So you're not sending hell spawns to torment my soul on a daily basis because we're just a bunch of millennials in this day and age, and we keep on believing that we need everything and want everything. Is that just a sin that you just created in my mind, or is that just part of my reality? Nah, too expensive for my taste. I like to get more of a personal touch to myself, especially for someone that stole my cookbook. So I'll see you next week. Bye bye. What is real? The potatoes. Now, what are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> so, put the potatoes on the bottom because those have to cook. This has to cook. So, we're going to use the water, actually, that we use. Don't miss that out. It's like a box of chocolates. You got to take a risk every now and then because you don't know what you're going to get. This thing's basically full. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Well, let me put you a little bit closer. There we go. Oh, yeah, this is why you put the sausage on top because of this reason. The potatoes have to cook. The sauce, this is gonna cook naturally. So you just put this on top. Now, like I said earlier, you can do whatever you want with this. I'm just gonna put just slight, just flap it on. I mean, honestly, I don't believe there's such a thing as too much garlic. I'm a very garlicky man and all that stuff. Now, this is where the fun begins. There we go. Put this, oh, 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 oh boy. Hello! There you go. Two hours later. Ah, look at that. It's all done. Oh man, look at that deliciousness. Let's actually get a bowl and try some. All right, let's get a quick gander of this delicious dish. So, first off, sausage tastes good. I'm pretty proud of that one. Now, potatoes. Oh god. You ate a little too fast there, buddy? No, it's mine! Now, I might 
if needed to cook this a little bit longer. I actually went to the gym, as you can tell, right here. That's why I left it in the crock pot for two hours. No, maybe at least another hour, two more hours in low, but I'm gonna put on another hour on high. But I'm not gonna wait another hour to film this. Now let's try the cabbage. Still a little crunchy, not too bad. I'm still a little happy about it. I'm enjoying it. Cheap, simple, decently priced, healthy as can be for the price you're paying for. So, there you go. Enjoy, everyone. Have a good day. Be careful with the garlic. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I just asked you. You said you weren't messing with me. Well, technically, no. But you are in a world of unimaginable taste. And many question the very idea of what is real and what is not. Oh my god! Am I in a twilight? No! Hell? No! Walmart? No! God damn it, you buffoon! You're in a fucking dream! You mean to tell me I'm in some kind of Christmas Inception wannabe video? Yeah, you can say it that way. Santa's not gonna be happy about that. You do know it's like two weeks past Christmas. You do know that. Yes! Got it! I know we're past Christmas! But I got four meals to cook, three gallons of eggnogs to drink, two Santa's to punch, and a Pikachu in a trash can! Who the drink fuck drinks that much eggnog? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I think this eggnog went bad. <laughs>